We want to make sure young people never start smoking, so we are legislating for a smoke-free generation by making it an offence to sell or supply tobacco products to those aged 14 when the law comes into effect. As they age, they and future generations will never legally be able to purchase tobacco because the truth is there is no safe age to start smoking. We are also reducing the appeal and addictiveness and availability of smoked tobacco products. New laws will mean only smoked tobacco products containing very low levels of nicotine can be sold, and with a significant reduction in the number of shops that can sell them. I'm thrilled to launch the Smoke Free Aotearoa 2025 Action Plan. This is an important milestone in the history of tobacco control. It's a bold plan, and I'm very proud to have my name associated with it. Our projections show the New Zealand European population is likely to achieve smoke-free status by 2025. But Māori won't achieve this goal for decades if we don't act now. We must move away from a business-as-usual approach and try something new. No one single intervention will help us achieve a smoke-free 2025 goal. We need a dramatic shift in the environment to denormalise smoking. I reckon it's, it's a good move, really. Because um, <clears throat> right now, there's a lot of young kids walking around with smokes in their mouth, and the uh, public are asking how, how they're getting these smokes. And it's also good for myself, too, because it saves um, so I can save more money. Well, there's always alternatives to smoking as well for people that you know can't afford anymore want to try to quit, like vapes, for example. So I think um, maybe it's a good idea because at the end of the day, smoking is bad for you, and it's really hard to quit. Yeah. So being a smoker, you know, and going through all this, I, I know that. So maybe it's a good thing at the end of the day because forcing people to sort of quit or cut, cut down a little bit. So, yeah. I mean, I have nothing really against that.